Hey guys, it's Shane here, and you're watching my multipod series on home automation. So, I've been thinking and I was like, maybe I should give you a tour of my system so you can have a little bit of an idea of how it comes together and how it works. Or... So yeah, let's get into it. But uh, before we do get into it, just um, to let you know, this is like tour version 0 0.1. Um, there's still a lot that needs to be done, and so in the coming months or years even, uh, I'll be doing these vi these tour videos and updating them as I update stuff in the house. So yeah, let's go. Let's go for tour zero point one. So this is actually the tablet that's mounted in the in my room. Um, it's an Android tablet uh, from China. It's actually it's an N70s. Uh, very very cheap. I uh, paid sixty five dollars for it. Um, so yeah, you can use it to turn on stuff like lights and bathroom lights and other stuff like passage lights and all of that, all from this little tab. Um, so yeah, this is the basic interface as well. Uh, it's actually running Google Chrome as you can see at the top. It's all web interface and you can look at stuff like uh, the alarm and control and status of systems and a whole bunch of other stuff which is right over there. So yeah, let's move on to the next thing. So basically what I've done is I've replaced uh, most of the light switches in the entire house with these. Um, this is a three button setup, so it's got three buttons. Uh, two LEDs, but the LEDs aren't actually in there at the moment. I'm still waiting for them to arrive. Um, and so this is all, these are all connected to GPIO on the Raspberry Pi. And so you can do cool stuff like push together to turn lights um, on and off. So from a three button like this, you can actually do seven, seven different operations. Um, so yeah. So at the moment, this is, these two are meant to be, it's meant to be light, fan, and bathroom light. The bathroom light is the only one that's connected. Um, the fan, I need to still install those four relay boards into the fan itself before that will happen. So the other panel that I'm using is this two button panel. Uh, it's definitely the most, like, yeah, this is the one I use most in most places. Um, also two buttons, two LEDs. Uh, it's basically meant to be light on and off and fan. And when you push them together, um, they do a, like a, a, a third operation. So with two buttons, you can do three different things. Um, so I've got a few of these. There's one in this room, there's one in the passage, and uh, yeah, they do a whole bunch of controls. So here's an LED that's mounted in the ceiling. There's a lot of these throughout the house. Um, and they're triggered by those motion sensors there, but they actually go through the automation system, so I can choose exactly what to do. Um, these are RGB LEDs, so you can choose the color. And they're very useful for at night. Um, so when you go to the bathroom or whatever in the middle of the night, the motion sensor picks you up and turns these LEDs on. Um, as you see now, it's just turned off, and if I move, Let's create some movement. Um, there we go. Did some movement, and now you should see the LED come on. There we go. So there's a bit of a delay, but it's just because it actually comes on earlier, but you just don't really see it on the camera because it, uh, it, it's got a ramp to it. So you, you only really see the end of the ramp. So yeah, I've got lots of these throughout the entire house. If we keep walking, you can actually see um, there's another one over there. You know, there's one over there. Go into the kitchen area. See, there's two more um, there, and there's another one over there, and over there is another one. So that I've got them, I've got them throughout the entire house, so that um, so that at night when you want to go to the bathroom or you want to go to um, the kitchen to get something to drink or whatever, there's there's LEDs all around the house. Okay, so so guys, this is my rack that sits on the roof. Um, it's kind of like the nerve center for the automation system. So up here we've got all the, uh, it's, we've got a patch panel up here, which is uh, for all the normal networking in the house. So this is all the computers, TVs, you know, all that stuff. Over here I've got a little Cisco Linksys uh, switch. Over there I've got a ADSL modem. And then as we come down you'll see there's another patch panel over here. Now this patch panel is the one I actually use for all the automation stuff. So like number seven over here runs to uh, a relay board. Um, if you look up here, you'll see 18, 17, 16, and 15. They run to LEDs. Uh, 19 down all the way there is um, down there is is used for um, buttons, and 24 is used for motion sensors and stuff like that. So as you can see, I've um, got a <laughs> I've got an Arduino Mega hanging here because the Ethernet cable needs to be plugged into up there. So I've got an Arduino Mega hanging up there. Over here I've got a Raspberry Pi. Um, let's see if we can focus that a bit better. So I've got a Raspberry Pi over there. 
as you can see, let's go back there, you can see the Mega. Um, down at the bottom I've got a ATX power supply that I modified. Just sits up there. And uh, over here, I don't know if you can see this, uh, I'm going to try to get the camera in there. Is, um, that is, that is an Arduino Uno with a whole bunch of uh, TLC chips. So let's see if maybe we can see it. Let me just drop that. See if we can lighten it up a bit. So you can see there's the Uno, and there are the two TLC chips. So, um, yeah, if let's just get out, but I can maybe just the rack a bit better. There we go. So you can kind of see while well, that's lightened up a bit. Um, so you can kind of see the entire rack. Um, yeah, they've got a lot of tools and stuff in the roof. <laughs> but yeah, here's the entire rack that controls the entire house. Uh, and then on the side here, this is 16 channels um, of relays. You can't really see it, and it's not really finished. And I'll, when I'm done, like in the next few tour videos, I'll, I'll give you a much better view of this. Um, but it's basically just all, it's just 16 relays um, connected by Cat5 to yeah because I use I use um, I use all the channels in the Cat5 cable so there's eight there's eight cables in it so I can I can run eight channels of anything over the cable which is quite cool so like there's eight relays on one cable um, and stuff like that so I can kind of give you a just a little brief look into the roof. Uh, let's make this quite. Little. Let's see if I can just push the eye so it get it a bit lighter for you guys. Um, focus. So if you can see, uh, there's the red wires and there's the grey wires. The red wires are 230 volts uh, mains power, which run to this relay box over here, the grey one. And then all the grey ones are all Cat 5e that I'm using for control signals or or stuff like that, so buttons, driving LEDs, all of that. And then you can see over here, over here is the top side of that LED, that the first LED we saw, um, nicely taped. So yeah, it's a bit of, it's a, bit of a mess at the moment, um, but I'm not done yet, so I haven't started tidying it up, but uh, we'll be doing that soon. If you look on this side, you can see it's all nice and neat and tied up, and there's a, there's a Mikotic, a Mikotic router that I use for my internet. So yeah, the K the modem up there is uh, connected to the router. So it's just a modem. Basically, just converts your ADSL signal into an Ethernet signal. And over here, this does the actual POP of E connection and all of that. Got all the plugs at the bottom. Um, yeah, and that also gives me all my Wi-Fi. And uh, I re highly recommend Mikrotech and all their products. It's they're very very good. I'll probably put a link in the description um, just for their website because I, I found their products are amazing, especially for the price and the functionality. Um, so yeah, let's see if I can do this. Um, don't know how well this is going to work out. So anyways, that's it for now, guys. Uh, see you soon. Please uh, comment, subscribe, like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't. Um, and yeah, comment if you want me to cover something. You know, if something specifically that you saw here that you'd want more in-depth just let me know. Cool. Cheers, guys.